What's up, everybody? Crash here. Welcome back to Crash Against the Spread. We talk about sports from a betting perspective. It is Saturday, November 2nd, and we have a lot to talk about. Um, if you do like the channel, uh, please like the video, subscribe to the page. Um, I do have some college football picks for today. Um, these are them right here. Um, I got my thoughts and research and info from somebody else for college football Saturday. So, you want to know why I'm betting these? Go find somebody's breakdown of these individual games and, you know, make your own decisions. But I'm also doing the NBA for tonight. So, um, these are the ones I like for that uh, as well. Just like last night, I'm fading the bad teams. The only two teams on this list that I don't consider bad is maybe the, maybe the Clippers. Um, but I like the Thunder a whole lot better. And at uh, five point five and a half, I think they can win by six or more. And uh, the Rockets. Um, I like the Warriors, how they've been playing without their lead guys. And um, I think they can maybe cover this number um, sneakily. So um, those why I, that's why I like those two guys, those two teams. And I don't consider the Rockets and the Clippers a bad team just yet. But on the other side... The 76ers with no um, no Embiid and no Paul George. I don't think they're a good team. The Raptors, I don't think they're a good team, even though the Kings are on the back-to-back. The Raptors are also on the back-to-back. Uh, Bucks, Bucks are obviously not a good team. Uh, Cavs are on the back-to-back, but we don't think that matters. And, um, yeah, so those are the games that I'm on. Um, and the T-Wolves um, at the Spurs. Spurs are at home, but they're coming off a win. Uh, in Utah versus the Jazz. So I think they can let one slip, even though the T Wolves were on the back to back also. So that's why I'm on those games. I would like to bet the Hornets against the Celtics tonight to cover. They played last night. Uh, same gym, same teams, back to back for both. So uh, I think the Hornets can uh, catch the Celtics slipping after they went one by 14 or points i think it was 14 14 or 15 points the night before i think they might be able to cover the night the next night so numbers at 11 and a half that's the side i'd be on for that game but I'm not going to bet it at all so uh, i do want to go ahead and talk about the nfl card for tomorrow because i won't have a video in the morning for you so um what i'm looking at is in the first game patriots and titans Titans are home favorites against the Patriots. Three and a half points right now. Uh, this is uh, Saturday morning, so line can move. But three and a half points, I don't trust it. Um, I like the pet. I like the Pats plus uh, three and a half. Uh, Jacoby Brissett is probably going to start again, and I think he's um, a more capable quarterback than uh, Will Levis, who might be getting his next start. And if it's not Will Levis, it's Mason Rudolph, and I don't think that's. Uh, a world beater, you know, it's pretty much two backup quarterbacks against each other in Rudolph and uh, uh, Jacoby Brissett. So, Jacoby coming off a good performance. Uh, I like him again uh, to cover this three and a half uh, point spread. So, Patriots in the first game, uh, Chargers, Browns. I like the Browns. Uh, Jameis Winston coming off a great game. Um, I like that momentum to keep going with that Browns team. I think they uh, they would have rathered. Uh, played with Winston uh, most of this year, and I think there's a new resurgence over there. So, uh, Browns plus one and a half. Commanders at Giants. Can't bet the Giants. It's only Commanders, and I'm sure everybody knows why. Uh, Broncos and the Ravens. Uh, this is a tough one. I'm not sure. Um, I think the Ravens' uh, pass defense is a little questionable, and I think the Broncos are finding. Uh, rhythm with Bo Nix uh, back there. He's passing more and more each week. So uh, while the Ravens have won a bunch of games this year by 10 or more, I don't know against this good defense that Sean Payton has. I don't know if the, uh, the nine and a half is too many points. So probably want to stay off of that one. Uh, Raiders and Bengals. Um, only looking to the Bengals is at seven right now. I'm hoping to get a six and a half uh, in the morning. Uh, Saints and Panthers, same thing. Um, I think the Panthers might be starting um, good old what's-his-name. 
All right, as of three days ago, it looks like they're still thinking about starting Bryce Young. So, um, along with the rookie running back, Jonathan Brooks. So, this is a test or a chance for to see if he's put it together. Uh, but the Saints are also uh, trying to start Derek Carr again. So, um, I can only lean on the Saints, uh, seeing how Bryce Young has uh, played. And um, I'm also looking to get a six and a half. So, those are my thoughts on that game. Uh, Cowboys, and, Cowboys and Falcons, I like the over uh, 52. Uh, it's a high total for a reason. Uh, there's deficiencies in both of their defenses. Uh, but I trust the Falcons over the Cowboys in uh, that late game situation. Um, the, and this is just this year. This is just Kirk with the, um, the Falcons and the way Dak has played with the Cowboys this year. So trust the Falcons in a late game situation over the Cowboys. Bills and the Dolphins. I think we're going to see two of this week, um, and this is me just me trying to get ahead of uh, him not looking good in his first start. So Bills minus six. That's how I feel about that. Uh, but, you know, I'll see what the number does for all of these in the morning. You know, if it's skewed too much, I'll probably stay off that game. Uh, but based on the numbers right now, that's what I think. So uh, in the four o'clock window, um, I like the uh, Jags plus seven. Uh, I think that they are due for a win. And with the touchdown spread, um, I'd like to be on that side. Uh, Bears and Cardinals, I like the over 44. Um, I think the Cardinals might be a tough matchup uh, for the Bears on the road. Uh, coming off that heartbreaking loss with the Hail Mary. Um, Cardinals have been playing uh, too bad. They're at, actually at the top of their division. Uh, tied with, is it San Francisco? Or is it L.A.? Tied with San Francisco. And Seattle, for that matter. Everybody's 4-4 four and four in that division. So, Chicago's at the bottom of theirs. Uh, but they're playing in the toughest division right now, in my opinion, with Detroit, Green Bay, and Minnesota. So, um, so leaning the over. I think both these teams have to score to beat each other. Um, it's not going to be a defensive game all the way through. Lions and Packers, just like I said, um, toughest division. <clears throat> uh, two rivalries, or a rivalry game here. I like points. I like the over. Um, Jared Goff is having a, a record season, and uh, Jordan Love, I think, is going to be playing. So over, 47 and a half. And I like the Rams over the Seahawks. Um, Rams surprised me last week by... Uh, having everybody questionable and then playing everybody. So if they're all going to be healthy, I like the Rams. Uh, minus the one on the road versus the Seahawks. The night game is the Colts and the Vikings. And I like the Vikings. Um, I know that Joe Flacco is going to be playing, so I kind of like the over. Um, and I would do Vikings and money line in the over if you're doing the same game parlay. Um, but I do like the Vikings to win this game. Uh, they're coming off two losses back-to-back -back, uh, within five-day period. They played Sunday and lost, and they played Thursday and lost. Uh, so they've had a mini-buy uh, to get over that, and now they played the night game against the Colts. I think they're going to be ready, um, and I think it's going to be on the Colts to uh, catch up. So um, Vikings, uh, money line in the over for a same-game parlay, which is probably how I'll play that. And uh, the Bucks and the Chiefs on Monday night. I'll probably do another video just in case the number changes. But as of right now, Saturday morning, I'm on the Bucks plus nine and the over 45. So uh, those are going to be my picks for Sunday NFL. Uh, lock all those in. Lock what you want in. Get this money. And we'll be back to uh, talk some more sports soon.